Welcome to BestGameCamera.com. This is the startup uh, online user's manual of the brand new UA MB500, which we are very excited about. You would first start by opening the latches on the side. You will then see your 12 battery pack with a little slider to access your top and bottom batteries. From here you have the SD card on the side and your SIM card on the side. We would then proceed to flip the camera to the setup position in the middle. From here, anytime you get a brand new camera, no matter what it is, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hit the menu button and go and format the SD card. So we'd go into our camera settings and we're going to breeze through this. We're going to come back. And we're going to format that SD card first. That's going to ensure proper communication between the SD card and the camera. From there we go back into the camera settings. And the first option is camera mode. Picture mode, video mode, or playback is to view the pictures. There is no pictures, so there is no file. From here we would go to photo format, which is normal or wide vision. Normal is a 4-3 ratio, wide vision is a 16-9 ratio. Center button selects any option. Photo resolution of a 6, 4, and 2 on the wide. And if we were to go back into the normal vision, you will see 8, 5, and 3. From there we have photo burst of 1, 2, 3. Video resolution of HD or regular VGA. The left button once again takes you back. Video length of 5 to 60 seconds. Video sound on or off. Quiet time. That's the time delay in between pictures, which you can go down to as low as 5 seconds or as high as, um, I believe, an hour. Illumination is the optional use of an external flash extender, which you could then set up some options there. You have a timestamp, which you could turn on or off, which is the stamp on your picture. Set your date and time. Password protect. Power type. Click the correct power type for the most efficient use of the camera. There was the format that we uh, talked about earlier. And the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Duty time is a timer that you could set up where the camera would turn on at a certain time of day. And like a, it's like a timer. Menu button would bring you back, then your left arrow would bring you back. Time lapse is the option to start the camera at a certain time of the day with a certain delay interval. That delay interval means right there every 10 seconds it would take. Most people use like an hour, 30 minutes. Um, good for surveillance in certain objects that are maybe far away or uh, watching over a large field. Default set would bring your settings all back to the default set. From there we would go into our GSM setup. We have the send mode of instant. Customize is where you can at a certain time of the day it would send you you know, 50 pictures, whatever you decide to customize there. Down, center button saves. Daily report. At a certain time of the day, whatever time you set in here, it would send you all the pictures in a report form. And instant is instantaneously, and off is off. On instant, a lot of the older cameras, if you put it on zero, zero, it was unlimited. On this camera, it is not. If you put it on zero, you will not get any pictures. So you'd want to place it on like 200. From there, we could send via MMS or GPRS. GPRS would require a data plan, which would uh, help with some uh, locations on GPS coordinates. Send to phone, email, or both. And network setup. This is one of the beauties of this camera. You can set up everything right here on the camera. Recipient phone, up to four phone numbers. 
simply up and down arrow gives you different number options center button saves that saves the whole line this is to backspace and this is to return back to the main menu so once we had our telephone number in there we could then save it and then we could go down to the next one so on and so forth same with the email um, you got numbers you got letters you got the at sign and you would save that email address in there cellular providers now this is only for the United States if you live in the United States you'd simply click there and click your provider and you are done no disk no downloading tools if you are in another country you would then need to download the tool which if you did that it would save a file to the SD card um, you would then open that file put the SD card in the computer go into your country pick your carrier and then load it back into the camera and you'll be set remote control if this is on you have some simple text commands that um, you can program in the camera you can add numbers delete numbers um, turn the wireless settings on or off about five basic functions if you look in the menu you can see them in their coding and you can control certain settings on this camera and you have the option of a receive time um, that like at whatever time you set it, the camera would go and look for any type of codes and then load those codes at that time of the day GPS input would be uh, where you could load certain GPS coordinates in this camera camera information files count how many pictures are currently how many videos are currently on the card the storage space that we still have uh, firmware version of in case there is ever an update um, we could look at this version see which version we have camera name this will print in your on your picture right now I have it set as home um, you can call it whatever you want the simple commands are just like what we had on entering the telephone numbers and they would also come in on your text message so you knew what camera you had from there you're ready to go you would simply flip the on switch on you would then wait for the little blue light to blink and you would be in action that is how to set up your MB500 we appreciate all of our customers at bestgamecamera.com we try to make things as easy as possible and give great customer support. Thank you for shopping. Have a great day.